Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to teach you how to set up your identity in your microservice project. So here we have a demonstration and I will show you a simple demonstration of identity project in your uh, microservice project. So here we have a microservice project studentmanagement.microservice.authentication API and in this project first of all just I am going to uh, uh, go for the register uh, method okay so try it out and here we have a test user so just use uh, like uh, that is my name uh, or you can say test user so test user at the red gmail.com and uh, there we have a password so just use password uh, sorry name that is test user and the phone number user and the phone number is 01234567 and like that and the last one is the password so test at the red one two three four this is my password okay and just click to execute okay so here we just got a response body that is result is null and a success is true message is null i mean to say that masses got an error messages so result is null uh, it not written any type of things okay so the response header is content type is application obligation and data type that okay now just go for your uh, you know that is the login so try it out and just go for the username first so here we go for test user at the rate of gmail.com and the password is test at the rate one two three four and just click to execute button and here we have a token that that is the token and that token actually contain uh, user information data and now just check it by using jwt.io and also just retrieve a user information like id email name and the phone number okay so, so just paste their token here oops okay, it's invalid signature that's fine now here we have an email uh, sub I mean to say that ID of the user name test user uh, that is the expiry time okay and that secret key will be hidden uh, with the help of HMAC SSL 256 okay so now just go for the code part okay so first of all stop this application first now just go for the code part so close all the tabs okay before going to the code part, I want to share my membership program with you. Okay, so uh, in this membership, I will provide you .NET Core tutorial from beginning to advanced video tutorial. And that video tutorial is not a normal video tutorial. It's a project based tutorial. And you know, uh, each technology have two minimum projects and only one time uh, fees that is 800 rupees for Indian users at $1.15 for other other country users okay so I will provide you complete source code complete uh, video tutorials on .NET Core, Dapper, REST API, Angular, Entity Framework Core, MS Test Unit, .NET Blazor, Unit Testing, HTML, jQuery, CSS, SQL Server and React so uh, you, uh, you can say it is a full stack development course in just 800 rupees okay if you want to get this membership uh, just fill this form first thing is to add your name your email id your contact number transaction reference id order id or the paypal id if you are belong from other country and if you are belong from india just pay using upi like this and add the reference id or paypal id and 
if you are uh, belong from other country just pay using paypal this is my paypal id okay and just click to submit button okay and link of the form um, will be available in video description box so must to check your video description box and crack this uh, deal okay okay now continue with the our project and that is the blank solution in the blank solution we just create two new folder or uh, three new directories and uh, that is the solution folder actually so just right click on it add a new solution folder like that so here we have three solution folder that is gateway ui and the microservice now in the microservice uh, directory just add a new web api project so just right click on it add a new project and in the project we just add a new project that is web api project so asp.net core web api project okay so okay so just add a web api project in your solution so that is the web api project in the web api project we need to add uh, models you know uh, dtos like that and just the first thing is to add a connection string or database so the app settings uh, just first thing is to add app settings for json file here we have a server like ms sql local uh, database like that and the trusted connection like that and multiple uh, results set like that okay so now after uh, connecting with your database we need to add uh, this connection string in the program.cs file so here we have a builder.services.addb context like uh, uh, authentication api context this is my uh, context file so uh, i want to show you uh, this is my uh, data section and this is my context file and here we have a identity db context that is uh, use application user class okay and also use also add this application user in a database with the ASP.NET user uh, table so uh, that we have a application user like that and application user is used identity user okay and you know application user is add a first name like that a name you can say okay so everything is fine now just go for the next thing uh, is to add identity in uh, our main file so that project is actually done in uh, uh, .NET 8 okay so builder.services.add identity application user identity role and add entity framework store that entity framework store is uh, define your store where your user data stored okay so that is uh, used by my uh, context file so add default token provider like that okay that is the similar part uh, which we, uh, which was which uh, did in previous uh, videos okay and the next one is the builder.service.add scope two new services that is i authentication service and i token service okay and nothing else okay now uh, in app settings.json file we have a jwt key okay so that is my key you know that is the 16 bit uh, 16 character long okay now the next one is to add uh, controller in our project so that is the auth controller we have two methods that is the http post and http post method both are the http post method the first one is register and the login so api actually receive data from the uh, client side so that is the user registration dto okay so that part is the user registration dto so uh, by using this we just got it okay and uh, just response back to the response dto class and response dto class we have you know three things that is object object type result it success that is boolean by default true and message got an error messages okay so we just create a authentication service uh, authentication service where uh, the functionality of your register and the login is there okay so we just get a user registration DTO first thing so go to definition and like that email name phone number and the password and that, that, that data will store in the database table by using this service so I have a uh, service like I authentication service we in, in it we have two methods that is user register 
and user login. User register just writ, uh, written a string. I mean to the, say that error messages and uh, user login just written uh, login response video. In the login response video, you just written a user information as well as a token. So here we have go to definition that is token that is the type of string and user info DTO. User info DTO we just retrieve ID, name, email like that. Uh, accept password. Okay, name, phone number, email ID is like that. Okay, so in authentication service we just add application service like uh, authentication API context user manager role manager like that token service and initialize in the constructor dependency injection the first thing is to add uh, in the user registration user registration we just add a application user in uh, with the help of user manager dot create async like that and return a if it is succeeded then return a empty string otherwise it return a error messages in the form of string so result dot errors dot first or default dot description okay and now uh, in the login part we just logged in first of all get the user with the help of context okay now check the user password with the help of user manager and now uh, if it is valid then user information Okay, so here we have a user ID like that token services dot generate token user user information. Okay, now in the token service, uh, I have a token service and generate token service, but it's user service user. Okay, so that is the token service. We have, uh, you know, symmetric security key and user manager use user manager like that. And that key, you know, uh, in, in, in it we have a claims. And user managers just get all the roles, okay. And uh, with the for each loop, just assign into in claims. And with the help of token description descriptor, we just generate a tokens with the subject expiry and uh, sign in credentials. And with the help of token handler, we just create a token, okay. So all these things are clear. Now that thing will generate a view for your identity, okay. So that is the microservice and in later videos we will discuss how to consume the service in our next module okay and how to create a UI part for this service. Thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget if you want to join my membership you will get a complete project based tutorials. Thank you very much for watching.